Your dog may hate what you do, but you may not notice it. Things that frustrate dogs and those that frustrate humans are different. Dogs generally do not like hugs, they're not allowed to smell, and there's no daily routine. Ever wondered what are those things and who are those people? Even the most relaxed dogs hate some of our humans. Yes, veterinarians' consultations and grooming. However, there are other ways to make it easier for your dog. No two dogs are exactly alike, so what one dog dislikes can be enjoyed by another. Before we start, you can send photos of your furry friends to the email address in the description to feature them on this channel. Don't wait, let's start the video. Dressing them up If your dog, or as a puppy, isn't gradually accustomed to wearing them, it's more likely that your dog will wear them. Some dogs do well in simple clothing such as shirts, but they don't wear anything on their heads or legs. How important is it to dress up your dog in the first place? If your dog needs protection from the cold, start with small, light objects and tie them to treats or other rewards. From sweaters or jackets to booties, try it your way and watch your dog's body language to determine when it's good enough. Being left alone or ignored Dogs are generally social creatures who don't like being left alone. Some dogs are comforted by the presence of another dog, while others just want to be with humans. In extreme cases, some dogs are actually afraid of being left alone and experience separation anxiety. The problem is that most dog owners have to work to pay for all their gourmet dog food. Of course, your dog doesn't understand these things at all. So, what's the solution? Spend as much time as possible with your dog when you're at home. Take time to deepen your bond with your dog. Establish a daily routine that provides sufficient exercise and mental stimuli. If you travel a lot, find a reliable pet sitter that makes your dog feel comfortable. And also consider whether it's fair to have a dog. Not letting a dog sniff and explore on walks. Dogs don't just like walking for exercise. Outdoor walks give your dog the opportunity to explore the world. Your dog explores the world primarily through smell, then explores his other senses. It's unkind to rush your dog on a walk without allowing him to stop and sniff. When you think about it, it's like having your arm dragged to your favorite store without you being able to stop and look. If it always happens, it's pretty frustrating, right? Therefore, the next time you walk a dog, give enough time to explore the surroundings. Hugging It's so cute to see pictures of people hugging their dogs, but the reality isn't so much fun. Many dogs don't particularly like hugs from strangers. Wrapping your arms around your dog's neck or body can be seen as a threat. Most dogs will tolerate a friendly hug from someone they trust, but that doesn't mean they really like them. The trick is to hug and pet him on the back and chest. Of course, some dogs like to be held. It's important to know your dog and understand its limits. Pay attention to his body language so you can understand how he feels when you hug him. If he leans over, looks away, yawns, licks his lips, looks worried, or displays other soothing gestures, he's probably uncomfortable. Getting in a dog's face and personal space Similar to hugs, dogs tend to dislike people looking at their faces. Think how it makes you feel. Don't put your hand on the dog's face, stand up, or rush into a dog. This is especially important if your dog doesn't know you well, or if you, the owner, need to poke your dog for your own benefit. If your dog shows a gesture of reconciliation, shows signs of fear, or actively behaves, it's always best to be vigilant and avoid dog bites. The reality is that many dogs put up with it when someone they know and trust does this. But most dogs don't enjoy it. You may notice that when you reach out and try to stroke it, it leans over a little. It's a matter of personal space for dogs, just like it is for us. Lack of routine and rules Your dog may not look like it, but he needs rules. If your dog is upset, it's probably because you haven't taught him the rules. Training is an important part of adding structure to dog life. Dogs have an internal clock, so routine is important. Make a meal for your dog at the same time every day. If possible, establish an exercise routine. After a few days of structured rules and daily routine, you'll see that dogs are more happy. Routines and rules can make the dog world more predictable and gain confidence. Yelling and harsh punishment No one likes being yelled at or severely punished. Dogs may not understand the words we say, but they can sense your emotions when you do. Punishment can actually make your dog angry or frightened. Fear is not the same as respect and cannot strengthen your relationship with these methods. You'll find that harsh punishment doesn't help over time. Positive reinforcement is generally the most effective type of training. To correct unwanted behavior, instead of yelling or hitting your dog, try redirecting it to a behavior you like. Dropping a little water on your dog to discourage him from chewing or eating things he shouldn't. 
You can teach him to come over or look at me to get his attention when he's doing something wrong. If he sticks to it, be sure to reward him. Dogs are more likely to listen to you when you make a request than an unclear no or stop. You expose them to loud environments. According to the Humane Society, dogs can develop or be born with fear from past trauma. One of the most common dog fears is loud noises. This may include thunderstorms, fireworks, or other loud, unfamiliar sounds. Of course, you can't control when a thunderstorm strikes, but you can prevent it from taking you to places where fear builds up and prevent yourself from making such noises. Keeping a tight leash, literally. Just like dogs are good at reading your body language, they also are good at reading our tension through a leash. Leaving the leash loose lets your dog know that there's no need to worry or be nervous. On the other hand, holding the leash firmly sends the message to your dog that you are nervous and cautious, and he responds in the same way. Increased stress, frustration, and excitement. Also, your dog doesn't appreciate being constantly tugged and alert. This is why it's so important to teach your dog to walk on a loose leash. It's a difficult skill to master and one that most dog owners may feel sorry for, but it's essential for relaxing and enjoyable walks with your dog. Being boring Dogs don't like their owners being bored, just like kids get bored running errands with their parents. You may be busy with appointments or just tired, but remember that your dog is waiting all day to play with you. When a dog is causing trouble by climbing in boxes or closets, eating shoes or chewing on table legs, it basically shows how bored he is. Well, there's a quick and easy way to solve this. Practice matches. Teach your dog new tricks, practice old tricks, play fetch games with his favorite toys, or go for walks to work on his agility around town. An hour of training is worth a few hours if you play a repetitive game of fetch to tire your dog out. Of course, exercise and walks are important, but adding brain work can help keep your dog happy and tired. Just 15 to 30 minutes of trick practice a day can make a big difference. Teasing Many people find it funny to tease their dogs. They bark when they pass each other on the street, wave and talk to them through windows and pull their tails. The list goes on. But most importantly, don't laugh at things you know will offend your dogs. Dogs don't find it funny, and that can lead to serious behavioral problems. Do your best to maintain some kind of routine and spend some time with your dog. Dogs can provide great emotional support. Keeping in mind these small mistakes, you can prevent your furry friends from having all these problems. Taking your dog for a walk may make you feel better too. We hope you all liked the video. Do like and share your thoughts on many other things that dogs don't like in the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please keep supporting us.